Greetings, Patronus here, and welcome to Fallout 4 Explored, a series where I travel the Commonwealth to find the unique and wondrous and even horrific things that can be found. And today, our journey takes us to Grey Garden Homestead. And Grey Garden Homestead, surprisingly enough, is located next to Grey Garden. I'm shocked. The homestead consists of, well, a house, a ruined house, a destroyed house, a, uh, a garage that's less destroyed, and uh, a car that doesn't work. Or should I say a vehicle that does not work? Well, if we look inside of the garage here, you'll find, well, there's a shovel and a gas canister, some tires, kind of a little bench here, a car jack, a toolbox, tools, and other items, some uh, brewskis, some antifreeze for your vehicle, and some buff out if you're feeling just not quite buff enough. And if you like to listen to music, you got some music as well. All right, now let's get on to the house. Well, no. So we have two entrances. You have here one at the front door on the porch, near the seat, or near the chair, should I say? Or you could travel back here into the kitchen where everything is pretty much demolished, dismantled, and you, a place you can't get into because all the debris, and you'll find the second entrance right here. For those curious, over here, not really anything. Well, let's head inside. Ah, now once you're inside, it pretty much looks like your typical interior in the Fallout universe. Some, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit disheveled. You know, there's some junk lying around. There's a office desk fan there. And you come down here, and there's an office desk fan here. And you got yourself a broken lamp. It's your typical nonsense. You'll find yourself some chems. You find yourself some scrap, a hot plate here, some bottles if you need if you need some uh, if you need some bottles for water you can do that. A bit of ceramic, got some food over here, and a dinner plate and a ladle. All the way over here, you got yourself a, a DV dinner tray, a pencil for those <laughs> for you, typewriter. Oh, mint hats, and for those who are fashion forwarding or fancy <laughs> fashion thinking, a uh, battered fedora. Now this door is inaccessible due to being part of a quest that you don't get until you enter the institute. So let's head on downstairs, and we'll find ourselves a, uh, a locked door, expert locked door. Let's see what's behind it. With the door open, we find ourselves a fridge, a couple of more bits of food, washer and dryer, ooh, military duct tape, I'll take that, a braxo. Ah, we got ourselves a suitcase, a camera, and over here you can see we got ourselves a uh, safe. Let's let's see what our luck is inside the safe. Got it. Ah, some ammo, caps. A bit of pre-war money, that's pretty much about it. Not too lucky. A pipe wrench, an actual pipe wrench, not just a unique one. A bit of fertilizer, a bit of fertilizer, excuse me. Ah, we open this door, we find the toilet. We get ourselves a plunger. First aid, good stuff. Behind the door here, you'll find a bit of a, well, a towel. Unfortunately, it can't interact with it. It's the cleanest thing in this entire building. All right, some more fertilizer, some more rat poison, another shovel, and a chemistry station. And a Bunsen burner for scrap. Now, I don't know how this gets triggered because I didn't trigger it, but you can disarm this for experience and for some fusion cells. Now down here, you'll find a locked toolbox. So maybe our luck will be a little better with this one. Mm, nope, just a bit of scrap and some bottle caps, which is all good. Okay, surgical tray, some some more tools, another empty Nuka Cola bottle, and a Tato if you wanna 
you know, plan some, uh, do some gardening. Well, that is it for the tour, or that is it for the exploring. Thank you for watching. I love your faces, and have a great day.